Uh, why do I not have money? Oh, because I did buy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bought the Arden Phoenix. I'm probably not going to need Killing Hands if I'm using this. But since I have five slots, um, we don't really need to um, get rid of anything. I can still use it. Okay, five on red messages. Jobs directory. It's fine. Inbox messages. Bids. About those dreams. Gobbit's face winks onto the screen. Her rats are perched precariously on her head. And she holds a laser pointer clutched between her thumb and forefinger. Oh, hey, you two. I hope that I didn't catch you at a bad time. She flicks the laser pointer and the rats' heads swivel to the right to follow the motion. Why did I just say that? This is a recording. It doesn't matter if it's bad time. Well, uh, anyway, I was thinking about that talk that we had, you know, the dream talk about the nightmares and stuff. Under the flick of the pointer, the rat's heads turn left. Their, no their nose is twitching. I've got a friend here in town. She runs a parlor of five phases. It's sort of a local magic shop in Talismonga. Name's Crafty. The rat's heads turn upwards to serve the ceiling. Anyway, she's smart, really smart. Her mum was sort of a local authority in all things magical, and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. If you wanted to ask anyone in town about those dreams, she'd be the right one to choose. She taps the button on, on the laser pointer with her thumb, and the little red dot on the tip goes dark. The rats immediately tackle one another, rolling off the, her head and falling out of sight. She gets up, her head rising out of frame. Anyway, just thought that it might help. If you've already been talking to Crafty, please disregard this message. Alright, I'm out. Peace. She punches a button and the screen goes dark. Let's see. Job offer from Isabel. A recording of Isabel pops onto the screen. She stares into the camera, her eyes full of intensity. If you're watching this, you've decided to listen to my job offer. That's a good thing. I wasn't convinced you would. Our target is a local decker, a, fomber, a former Wamp One in the Matrix. His handle is Rumbus. He has the software that we need. Unfortunately, he's unassailable, unassailable from the Matrix, and nobody knows where he lives in Meat Space. But I know where he's going to be. There's an event coming up that Rumbus can't afford to miss. He might already be on his way there. As you're reading this message, deckers from all over Asia, white hat and black hat alike, are converging on the Harbour Spires Hotel. This year, Harbour Spires is hosting DeckCon, Hong Kong's largest annual decking convention. Rumbus is going to be there, and that gives us an opportunity. We're going to hit the convention, find him in the meat space, and get the software away from him. And we're going to do it quietly. Enclosed, you will find a copy of a plan that I worked out of for the run, presented in bullet point format. Everything should be fairly straightforward. Isabel's image winks off the screen, replaced by a blinking cursor. As you watch, the screen begins to fill with lines of simple instructions. I will provide you with one of the other runner of your choice with visitor passes and one other runner of your choice with visitor passes for the convention. I will proceed ahead of you using my own guest badge. I will hide in the woman's lavatory on the first floor. You will enter via the kitchen and procure me a uniform from the catering staff. Please be sure that the uniform is size 4. We will rendezvous. I will change into the uniform and using it, I will infiltrate the administrative wing on the 6th floor. We will proceed into the convention hall and await further instructions. Using the admin computer, I will identify Rumbus via his guest registration form. Once I have done this, I will alert you via comlink. I will upgrade your badge to VIP status, granting you access to the VIP wing of the hotel. You will tell Rumbus he has been granted VIP status and offer to escort him to a complimentary hotel room. We will escort him to a room that I designate and hold him there. I will jack out the ma matrix and make my way from the admin wing to your room. We will intimidate Rumbus, beat the tar out of him until he gives us the software. We will tie and gag Rumbus and stuff him into a storage closet. We will not be gentle and it's okay if he starts crying. Actually, please, prioritize this. I want to see tears. Software and tell, we will make our escape. Blowing text fades and Isabel wings back onto the screen. 
I mean... Okay. See, it's a simple plan. Just like I said, we should be able to get through it without firing a shot. So, will you do it? Will you help me get the software I need? Yeah, sure. The pre-recorded footage of visible wings off the screen. A real-time feed of a Matrix avatar replaces it. Excellent. I knew that I could count on you. Saddle up, Fist. This is going to be fun. There are three unread messages. Opportunity. Three-phase bypass. To come see me if you have a chance. I have a trade opportunity. Maximum law. Okay. Urgent task. Only Cheng. Little birds have been whispering in my ear about an urgent and high paying run. Still arm Lu, a red pole, managed to get his hands on information concerning a prototype laser weapon in development by Aris Asia Holdings. For years, the Yellow Lotus and the Red Dragon have locked have been locked in a cold war. Despite this, we remain evenly matched. Neither one of us can attack the other without being exposed to devastating reprisals. Lu wants to change this, and he has a plan. Rather than strike directly, Lu intends to aim external forces at the Red Dragon, specifically Knight Errant. He intends to frame a white paper fan named Gold Golden Thong, making it appear that the uh, Red Dragon have been bribing Aris researchers for classified data. Two leading drone and energy weapons researchers have recently transferred from London to Hong Kong, now running the project. Doctors Taylor and Hardingham have respected, were respected in Europe, but in Hong Kong they remain unknown quantities. They are untrusted and therefore unconsidered untrustworthy. Okay, perfect targets, in other words. We will provide data that will make it look as if the researchers were contacted by Golden Thong and made quite a bit of money, but grew tired of the arrangement. Transfer the attached files to a data chip. The files are bundled with a worm program, which will auto-execute when inserted into the appropriate systems. You need not bring a decker, though one may be helpful. You will need to plant data in the visitor record system, camera systems and hardened gum, and Taylor's lab. Financial data is to be transferred to Dr. Taylor's personal terminal. That in and of itself is, will not be enough to ensure knight errant involvement, however. Planting the data is only the first part of your task. This is where heavier touch will be required. You will also need to steal the prototype laser weapon. There's a GPS tracking device attached to it, which Lou will plant deep in Red Dragon territory. The apartment, the apparent theft of a prototype weapon will be uh, by a disgruntled stride member, which should convince Aris to dispatch overwhelming force against the Red Dragon, dealing them a, decisive, uh, a vicious blow. As a note, Lou does not care what becomes of a laser weapon. If you wish to sell it or keep it, feel free. I have also attached a map of your extraction route from the building. During the facility's expansion in 2052, Aris Asia was forced to extend their foundations deeper into the island. They drove files through the former site of a central MTR station, which partially collapsed during the Dalu Bay earthquake of 2044. Practically, this means they can exit through the basement, directly onto the new MTR line through Central. With any luck, we can be gone without anyone knowing how. Unfortunately, this route is heavily alarmed, so you will be forced to go in the front door. If you can find the front desk, you should have no problems. The facility is both an office and a residence, so strange people coming and going at odd hours is not unusual. If you're not up to fast talk, however, be prepared to shoot your way in. Lou does not care if you are loud or quiet, but a word of caution, he came by all this information via the loose lips of one of the research team. Other fixers know of his job, move fast and you are guaranteed success. There are definitely other Shadowrunners with an eye on your prize. I think I think we're gonna have a, uh, some competition, no matter what we do, if we select, if we choose to do this mission now or later. Okay. Well, now let's just go back and restaurant job. From kindly Cheng to this restaurant job. 
One of the things I've learned over the years is that even the rich and powerful have annoyances. Thorns on their side, if you will. No one is without troubles. The rich just have different ways of solving them. The client for this run has grown tired of one particular thorn in his side. Chong Sing, Rooster, Lo. Lo is a red pole for one of the smaller triads here in Hong Kong. The 289s, or the Easy Money Gang, if you prefer. Despite the 289's small stature, those illegal activities have managed to damage the client's profits. Mr. Johnson would like you to help him show Lo the error of his ways. Lo takes an evening every few months to dine at a Shangri-La restaurant in Aberdeen. If you aren't aware, the Shangri-La is an elite establishment, serving primarily corporate clientele from Wuxing Incorporated. Because of this, it's not unusual for diners to bring bodyguards or assistants with them. In Lo's case, he brings a particularly brutish enforcer, known as a Talon, and undoubtedly feels well protected. You're going to prove just how wrong he is in this regard. You are to kidnap Rooster Lo, so long as he is alive in a, in a relatively good health. All options are on the table. While keeping the run quiet would make things easier for Mr. Johnson, no one will shed too many tears over a few dead tried thugs. The client has arranged an exit via boat, so long as you can get a low from the interior to the restaurant stock. The client will handle everything else. Despite being a red pole, Low is a tactician, not a fighter. Don't expect him to put up much of a fight. Talon, on the other hand, is a nasty as they as nasty as they come. Be careful about how you confront him, or things may go very badly. Okay. Uh for now, let's just do the mission. So we can take one person with us. And it's not gonna be Isabel. Wait, what's this? A large X fashioned from overlapping strips of peeling duct tape. They don't just stand there? Do we have any side stuff? No. We did get some rest, that's good. Let me make a proper save though. I think I'm gonna take the uh, the drone guy then. Transit to Kai Tak to board the, a chartered bus to Deccon. Yeah, we can collect one person. And Rakta, what are your skills? You do have some biotech and drone control and drone combat. You are smart. Smarter than me. Yeah, I think this is still gonna be better. What's this? Drone BR kit. Four armor. Wait. So we can take two people with us? Oh, Isabel must be present. I see. So we, we can't do this because Isabel is not present. So we can do this. Does have better legs. Basic machine replacement for a leg to restore mobility to amputees. Oh. No, let's let's do this. I don't think we're gonna need uh, gobbit. A chartered bus carries, carries you from Kai Tak to a mid-range hotel in Suen Wan. All around you, the happy chatter of your fellow passengers fills your ears. You hear text speak in a variety of languages and dialects. 
talk about new lines of drones and decks, arguments of innovations in data jack technology, and baseless speculation about the next season of Urban Brawl. Your guest badge, a glossy slip of laminated paper emblazoned with a flashy logo, hands on a lanyard around your neck, your ticket into the convention hall, and the only disguise that you should need. The bus drops in, it drops you in front of a harbour spires hotel, and you promptly circle round the back and service and find a service entrance. Isabel should be waiting for you inside. We uh, don't have any equipment in stash, so. The service entrance to the Harbour Spires Hotel looks like any other. Scuffed walls coated in chipped paint, a floor of well-worn hardwood, and a time card reader hanging from the wall at a slight tilt. Nothing about the dingy utilitarian confines of a room that you're in hints at the elegance and fine decor of a hotel beyond. I've always been fascinated by seeing how things worked, even as a child. I took apart everything I could in the name of study, and here we are, in the innards of a fancy hotel, examining the facera of the place, if you will. Your earpiece crackles to life, Isabel calling from the woman's lavatory. This. First a static fills your ear, obliterating Isabel's voice. A second later, she cuts back in. You in position? Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm here, but you're kind of breaking up, though. Yeah, I know. Connection here is crap. The comms keep cutting out. This doesn't really build well. Aren't you gonna be giving us instruction over the comm? Yeah, hang on a sec. And try to boost our signal strength. Sound cuts out entirely for a good five seconds. When Isabel's voice comes back, it's half again as loud as it was before. There, that's better. What a pain in the ass this is. There's way too much interference coming from the show floor. We aren't going to be able to rely on our com links for this. I'll find us a workaround. Well, I hope you do it fast. The entire plan hinges on your being able to communicate. Like I said, I'll find a workaround. For now, let's concentrate on the task at hand. The catering staff should be in the kitchen, hauling trays of steamed clams and aperitifs out to con the convention hall floor. I'm going to need you to find a way to get me on one of their uniforms, one that will fit someone my size. Okay. Find a dwarf size catering uniform. Check. I'm on it. Good. Owen oh, Fist. We aren't going loud yet, got it? Whatever you do, don't start shooting. We can't afford to send Rumbus running before we can get him cornered. Right. No shooting until we have Rumbus, got it. There's an alarm panel. Can we make a loud though? Because... It would be nice. Oh, we would need decking. Oh, that's a shame. This panel controls simple building maintenance and safety feature. While the panel's admin level user interface has been locked away behind a biometric fingerprint reader, a skilled decker could easily bypass such a restriction. Well, we can view the archived work manifest logs. Wang millions. The damned sprinklers went off again. The entire kitchen was flooded, and Chef Bon quit. We're going to have to go with third party caterers for the big events for the big event this weekend, because we are sure as hell can steam a few thousand clams without any kitchen staff. Oh hey! I took him here because th this is a technologically uh, in important stuff, but hey, can you send like your guy there? This small vent looks large enough to accommodate a standard security drone. Send him through. 
activate and send them through. Uh, so you have to activate your drone. Drill mode. Oh, there's a lot of stuff they have. Melee system, spy arm systems. What's this? What size uniform? Actually, just Yeah, you come back to me. We should, uh... How do we... How do we end combat? And we still do more damage with this. Harvest Spires Kitchen are a whirlwind of activity. Attractive 20 somethings in white Catherine uniforms dash in and out of the room, their arms laden with heaping trays of steaming shellfish. One man stands still amidst the chaos, the eye of a storm. His white coat is at least half again whiter than those of his subordinates, and his collar is starched as stiff as a board. Law manager notices you, and his eyes narrow. He stalks towards you, practically throbbing at the mouth. You can help but notice the embroidered corporate logo on a label. Pastry, magic and more fine catering. The image is completed by a stylized rendering of what appears to be a frolicking kitten standing astride a pair of shooting stars. Yo, what are you doing in my kitchen? He glances at your chest, sees the visitor, sees the visitor badge hanging from the lanyard that Isabel gave you dangling around your neck. Convention goers are not allowed to be on the show floor. Yeah, I sold clams. Are you steaming clams back here? He growls in exasperation. Yes, idiot. Yes, we are. And if you want some, you're going to have to wait on the show floor with everyone else. Now get out. Go. We have work to do here. How do I... Uh... Maybe it's just gonna end? Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what... How, how to, like... End combat. I thought it would be this one. Uh -huh. Okay, there's the toilets. Oh, we are supposed to give Isabel. We are supposed to give Isabel. Uh, clothes, right? Let me go to the toilet first. Hello, shady man. What do you sell? A sketchy looking man in a long, shabby coat stands in the middle of a bathroom floor, teetering on his feet. He blinks at you through red rimmed eyes, crusted over with sleep. Heather, are you uh, the Imperator? Because if you are, uh, I got your stuff. Yep, that's me. Great, great, great. He lifts an of a stuffed plastic shopping bag. Yeah, you want to see the whole stock, or do you just want to buy the items that we discussed? Okay, let's see your full stock. Let's see, I mean, I'm probably not going to buy those drugs. Mm. 
Just give me the stuff we agreed on. Alright, I ought to warn you though. Hyperx ain't cheap. He extends his bag and opens it wide. Down at the bottom, buried under a mount of, of blue spills, is a shiny plastic bottle. It's bottle. We're gonna have to finish it, fish it out if you want it. And uh, be careful, I think that there are a few loose needles in there. Sure. Hyperx. A local variant of a popular combat sim. Accuracy is increased by 5% and movement by 2 for 5 rounds. I wonder if I'm gonna need it. Let's just buy one. Isn't wasn't this supposed to be a bottle? This is a pill. That's fine. Oh yeah, just put it here, yeah. Oh, can I? Oh hey, I could put away your uh, your med kit. It's so hot, so nice. So uh, you you want anything else? No, walk away. It's fine. Hello, Isabel. What's up? You enter the women's restroom to find Isabel waiting impatiently for you. Her gift badge dangles from its lanyard at a canted angle. And the clumped ropes of her hair look frazzled. At the sight of you, she steps forward. You're here. Good. I was getting tired of hanging out in the ladies' room. You have the uniform? Yeah. She eyes the embroidery of the logo, nodding. Good. Good. This will work. Alright, I'm gonna change into this and hightail it to the employees only door on the far side of the convention hall. They'll let me in, then without a badge. They'll just figure that some rich guy wants a drink. Okay, where's the VIP area? On the other side of the convention floor. I'll have to cross the show floor to do it. But that should be safe enough. Not if he pays attention to the catering stuff at these things. So I'll make my way across, pass through the door, and take the elevator up to the admin wing on the sixth floor. All you need to do is take your position and wait for my instructions without raising an alarm. Pretty simple stuff. Should be foolproof, assuming that you don't screw anything up. Do you have any questions? Uh, have you figured out what you're gonna do about that spotty comlink connection? Yes, there's a demo kiosk near the VIP entrance. It's running some new matrix of that editing suite. Or something like that. The software is called Perfect Persona. When I get to the system area, I'm gonna patch myself onto the Perfect Persona console. And we've going, we're going to communicate through that. It isn't the perfect solution. But beats having to deal with a dropped connection. Just be sure to grab the kiosk when you're in position. Don't let anyone else get to it. What am I supposed to do on the show floor again? Wait by the VIP area door. When I identify Rumbus, you apprehend him and tell him that he's the lucky winner of a complimentary VIP pass upgrade. You'll escort him through the VIP doors and to a room that will have empty in I'll have empty in waiting. Then we'll all get the software from him together, beat him up, and stash him in a closet. And what should I do between when you leave and when you get in position? Walk the show floor, mingle, try to look like you belong here. Just try not to say or do anything that'll stand out in a bad way. You're supposed to be a hot new decker in town, try to act the part. Okay, no more questions, let's hit it. I wonder if I can get in, in here again. On reaching the door, you feel paralyzed and you're turning, you find the owner, a frazzled looking dwarf in a wine stained Catherine uniform. The crooked name tag is emblazoned with letters in bold print, Larissa. I couldn't help but overhear you back there. You need a uniform? No, I'm good. Remember the part where I overheard you? I know that you needed one of these and I can help you. I need five minutes of your time and help. Tell me what you need me to do. There's a guy on the show floor. I know, one of those deckers. Most of them are cool, but this one has been a prick to me for the entire show. First, he tried to chat me off while I was out serving drinks, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. Creepy. And he finally got the hint. He started trying to trip me. Oh. I managed to keep my footing the first three or four times, but he finally got me. Put his foot into the back of my knee and pushed. 
I hit the floor and I took an entire tray of five Nguyen wine with me. I'm drenched. And now I'm drenched. The wine is coming out of my paycheck and he's out there on the floor laughing about it. You want me to be beat the piss out of him? He nods eagerly. I don't know if this guy is a racist or if he's emotional problems or what. Maybe he just hates me because I'm a girl. But if you'll knock him on his ass out there, this uniform is yours. Okay, I think I can handle this. Stand in the doorway, kick back and enjoy the show. Find Kongoa, punch in the face. There's uh, a lot of things I could go talk to. Noodle Extruder. A hot noodle dispenser, complete with extruder settings for ramen uh, and some other stuff too. Vention Goa. 